This is a demo of Alfresco Kafka, which is an add-on to Alfresco, which generates Kafka events uh, when something happens to a node, create, update, delete. And um, the other app that is going, that is being shown here is listening for those events and then will index the metadata into Elasticsearch. And this could be helpful for a lot of different reasons, but um, the way this originally came up was uh, because of a client that wanted to do some reporting off of Alfresco metadata, and this was a quick way to, uh, to make that happen. So anytime uh, documents are created and, or changed on the Alfresco side, that metadata gets automatically uh, indexed into Elasticsearch, and then that data can be visualized and reported against with uh, Kibana which is a visualization tool for Elasticsearch data. So let's go ahead and see how this works. I've got Alfresco uh, running in the um, IntelliJ IDE up here in the upper left-hand corner. Um, I've got the uh, a little Spring Boot application over here. I'll go ahead and start that up. And this will um, just listen for these events that get generated from the Alfresco Kafka add-on and then processes those events. And what the code does is um, when it sees a node get created or changed, it uses CMIS to fetch the metadata and then um, turns that into JSON and then checks it in or indexes it into Elasticsearch. So um, let's go ahead and see this in action. So if I, um, I've just got a little Python window in the bottom left-hand corner just as an easy way to, um, to create data. So if I say uh, create folder, and we'll just call it test folder one for now, you can see the event got fired, um, got added onto the Kafka queue, and then um, on the, um, the indexer side, the Spring Boot application, saw the event and then indexed it into Elasticsearch. If we open up a browser and we go into the Kibana UI and just do a search, we can see that that data um, was added here and we can expand this um, and see the, uh, the metadata that, can, that came across, which is, um, can, it can be custom uh, metadata. Uh, this is all out of the box Alfresco metadata that's that's coming across. So let's create a, a bunch of data. Maybe, um, well, actually, let me show you how deletes work first. So I've got this folder. If I do a, um, a folder dot delete, you can see that the the delete was handled, and then that removes it out of the Elasticsearch index. So now if I uh, try to do a search, there, there's no more data in the Elasticsearch index. So let's create um, 100 test folders. So we can do that quickly in Python. creating 100 folders in the uh, root and um, on the Spring Boot side we're listening for those folders to get created and now if we go into Elasticsearch and do a search now we've got a lot more data so there's 100, uh, 100 folders. So this is kind of nice um, when this data comes across we can now um, visualize the data put it into a dashboard, for example. So um, over here, I've got a simple little dashboard that I created that just shows some of the data that's in the, um, that's in the dashboard. Right now, uh, it knows there are 100 objects in the database, that, in, in the repository. There are more than 100, um, but it's, it only knows about 100 because um, we just created those. Those events were placed on the queue, and then that got checked in. If you wanted to, show some pre-existing data, you'd have to go 
um, essentially either change those objects or ping, uh, ping the objects. Alfresco Kafka has a ping. Um, you can go ping an object and then that would get added to the index. This is set to zero because we've only created folders so far. And um, you, can't, you can barely see it, but there's a, this is objects created over time and the, the data point is up here. So it said uh, that we've created 100 objects here. And we only created it with one person, so the top five document creators is just admin. I'm logged in as admin right now. And down here we've got a content content broken out by content type. Right now we've just got folders in the system, so it's 100% folders. And there are no MIME types set, so this is kind of a, a boring visualization here with no data. So we can fix some of this. Let's um, Maybe we could create a couple of um, uh, text uh, documents here. Uh, let's see, let's say uh, doc equals now if I, uh, so I've just created a new document, very small document, but if I um, refresh my data, now I've got 101 objects in the repo, in the repo. It's got a total of four bytes um, being that we know of, and now our, we've got two points to make our line on this uh, on this graph. Still creating everything as admin, and the rest of the data has been been updated here. 